there was actual snowflakes you know in some parts of Wisconsin I already I saw some pictures from Michigan it's only a matter of time before we're next yeah there were uh, a few flakes even right in the La Crosse and on Alaska areas last evening uh, of course nothing measurable or anything like that but uh, uh, people always love to see those first flakes of the season. Hey, how about pelicans? Yeah, this was down at Goose Island this morning. Thanks to Jeff Boyne for this great shot. Uh, just majestic birds and uh, not only that, but the fall colors in the background. So yeah, it was a pelican island this morning or Goose Island. Jeff said there were about 100 to 150 of these guys uh, doing a little layover on their uh, migration south. It's also that time of year. Looking for love. Yeah, this guy jumping a fence up near Galesville. Thanks to Kelly for that great shot of a buck jumping a fence up there. Uh, again, if you want to check these out or share any of your weather related or even wildlife related photos, I'd love to see them. Uh, WKBT Bill Grawl is my Facebook page. Speaking of gorgeous, check out this shot through CityCam. Our live shot showing just a few high clouds in the distance, some nice colors, a sunset at 555. 554, I should say, uh, rises tomorrow morning at 744. And even with uh, sunshine for much of the day, it was cooler than average. A high of only 45. We should be around 53 for a high this time of year. We're down to 41 degrees. Winds out of the west northwest at 5 to 10, causing a slight wind chill of 36 degrees. And uh, pretty uniform in terms of uh, cool temperatures all across the northern tier. Uh, most spots in the 30s and 40s. We're still at 41 in La Crosse, but all of our surrounding communities in the viewing area generally in the 30s, 42 an exception down in Boscobel, already down to 30 degrees in Black River Falls where winds have gone calm. Uh, where the winds are still blowing 5 to as much as 12 miles per hour in Eau Claire, it's causing some wind chills. Feels like 29 in Eau Claire, 36 here in La Crosse, and uh, 34 in Viroqua. It's going to be cold tonight for this time of year. Low to mid-20s in the county, including about 25 in La Crosse. We should be closer to 35 for an overnight low. Uh, lower to middle 20s will be common down to the south, even around 20 degrees in Hillsborough. Look at our traditional colder spots, uh, parts of Trempolo and Jackson, Monroe counties, mid to upper teens, potentially there up into Clark County as well, uh, probably closer to 22 for low for you folks in uh, Eau Claire and Chippewa Falls. Uh, like last evening, a lot of the cloud cover will fade away now that the sun has set. High pressure keeps us dry. Still kind of cool tomorrow. Then we start a warming trend uh, Thursday, Friday, and especially into the weekend. And uh, again, mainly clear tonight. Tomorrow, probably more clouds than sun, but another dry day. And then partly cloudy conditions tomorrow night. And then uh, Thursday, uh, more of the same. Kind of a mix of sun and clouds. And temperatures will start to warm just a bit. For tonight, though, uh, becoming clear and uh, rather cold for early November 25 for the low again that's 10 degrees short of average for lacrosse tomorrow a mix of sun and clouds continued cool 45 for the high we do start to warm though Thursday 52 55 on Friday a uh, kind of breezy Friday as well and look at the warm up just in time for the weekend right around 60 degrees with a mix of clouds and sun don't forget to turn those clocks back as you head to bed Saturday night as a uh, daylight saving time comes to an end still upper 50s into early next week and a Decent chance for some rain, but it's way out there around the middle of next week. But uh, until then, it's still looking mainly dry. I'm loving all these warmer weekends. They're perfect. Yeah, yeah the, the models keep uh, up and up in those yeah. temperatures heading into the weekend. We may be looking at low to mid-60s in a few spots if this trend continues. Wow. Okay, thanks, Bill. Okay.